moves, you can get it. You'll come back here with the sponge. And then once you come back here with the sponge, you'll be able to tell um, where you need to add it just a little bit more. Because it's going to be uneven. That's one thing that, you know, I think we have the understanding with this whole thing. It's going to be uneven. Um, but you don't want little dip pockets in there where there's not a good covering of the plaster. So finish the bucket, mix the bucket, come back, sponge it, and then continue. Yeah, that's probably that good. That gives it about the right time. Yeah, I think that's a, good, sure. that's a good It'll still sponge it 30 minutes, probably. Probably. I think we're aiming for 15. 15, yeah. 10 or 15. 10 or 15. Okay, so maybe we'll aim it for. Hurry up and, and finish. Uh, even if it's uh, not sponge off, well, if you just add a little bit of water to it, um, it'll, it'll come out. Because it's still in that curing phase where adding water will uh, re-moisturize it and it'll take longer to cure. So just add a little bit of water onto your sponge. Like, say, in that corner you're finding out because of how rough it is, it is having trouble. Adding a little bit of water, no problem. Take it right out. And if you got over results with the sponge, no problem. Just take more. Slap it right back on there and you're good to go. But yeah, I think that's a good cycle of if you're since you're working by yourself for sure. Mm -hmm. Mix a bucket, throw it on there, go mix another batch, bring it out, sponge it, do it again. You'll probably get a great good rotation. cycle of rotation for that. Yeah. All right. Good man. Kind of goes on. Look at first. First, we water it down and get it damp. Then we put it on. Then about 15 minutes later, we sponge it down to get more of a smooth texture. All right, I'll nice. do, go, do a real quick demo. Yeah. Start at the bottom, work your way up. Got to be careful if there's dry stuff down there when you pick it, the stuff up that hit the bottom, you don't want to get it. But you don't want to waste at the bottom either. So that's kind of smooth there. About 15 minutes later, you take a sponge and you get those little lines out. All right. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. We created this template for the bottom of the tub. Uh, and what we're going to do is uh, cut out uh, these mesh petals so that uh, whoever's in this group can work on a petal. Uh, we'll be layering, like, uh, we have all these tiles to work with. I think we're going to be using a lot of these over here, which is this, um, this tile. And and we're going to be breaking that into pieces, like this, and placing those pieces in, in the middle of this mesh. We'll be gluing it, and then around the side of the mesh we have these little marble reddish tiles to, to layer around to uh, create the edge of the petal. And, um, and then once we get all the petals done, we can bring them in and just lay them in with the with whatever mixture we come up with to magnesium mortar mixture we use to, to put them in. So uh, we're just breaking tiles and um, following this pattern for the tub. The, this hole is where the drain will be and we've, we've each traced out a um, petal and we're working on one of the petals with this. Uh, so we traced we trace the petal out with Sharpie and then onto mesh and then we're gluing the tile to the mesh. And then we'll take each petal and lay it into the tub when, when we're ready. So once the, <clears throat> we grouted all of the mosaic, um, 
we had uh, this stone was about that thick. So we had that much of a fall off from it and of course a lot of scary corners um, for a bathtub. So we um, mixed a, um, a hotter type of a, a grout. We didn't use any sand. We just used sawdust in the first round and it worked really well. Um, but it wasn't quite floated out enough to the surface of the, the mosaic. So we did it a second time. We had some cracks in the first time, so we adjusted the recipe um, and added some sand the second time. And um, basically what happens is the first, you know, 10 or 15 minutes that you're using it, you get a really nice finish. But um, 20, after 20 minutes, this kind of thing happens. So it's just a process of going over it and, and over it until you get it uh, where everything is smooth. And then as soon as we have um, no cracks and we have the finish that we want in the bathtub, we have a, um, we're going to use a tile ta 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 and grout sealer, um, just a regular tile and grout sealer. Um, a lot of the other finishes that would pr protect the, the um, and we used, um, this is the uh, magnesium sulfate activated. Um, we, we did use some talc and some clay in the lower la layer. Um, no talc in the outer layer for in hopes of less cracking. And ultimately what it comes down to is how quickly you can use it. So um, you learn to make smaller batches and get it on quickly and get this texture that you want. Let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes and then sponge it um, to try to get some semblance of a, of a you know, smoother, smoother finish on this. And it's worked out really well. Annika has done most of this um, finish work and uh, she's done a beautiful job. We've tried different products to try to get um, the grout up from here so that we've got a good artistic line around the leaves and to really maintain the beauty of the mosaic. Um, and so far, we've, we've, it's gotten better and better. Uh, as you can see through here, you can see more of the color. Um, but so far, we haven't found anything that's taken this off. Um, but um, I've I have a third product that we're going to try, so we'll show you the outcome of that and the product that we've used. Um, the grout release, which is right over there, is one of the things. Um, and it, it did a good job on some of these bigger ones, um, but we still have some work to do on the smaller ones to make sure we maintain the beauty of the of all this gorgeous mosaic. The last thing um, is we'll be building a little um, wood frame around this uh, to finish this out. We're going to use the cedar that we've used throughout the um, dome just to finish this off as well.